Hey guys, this is Otila with Scraping Hub. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how many proxies do you need for a web data extraction project. So this is one of those questions that are really hard to answer without knowing the specific details, but I can definitely explain the main factors that need to be considered. So to decide if you need 100, 1000, 10,000 or more proxies, you need to define first something that is called a traffic profile. A traffic profile is meant to describe your web data extraction needs in terms of three separate things. First, you have the website, the request volume and geolocation. So the website is obviously the publicly available site that you want to extract data from. Request volume is how many requests you want to make and how frequently you need to make those requests. Something that you need to keep in mind to have realistic expectations from proxy solutions is that websites already have existing visitors. It could be 100k per month or million or even billion per month. It's important to estimate this number beforehand as for example, if uh, there's a website with only 100k monthly visits, that's 100k requests from actual users. And at the same time, if you want to make 100k requests using proxies, that's not going to work. But if there is a website with 100 million daily visits and you want to make 100,000 requests per day, that's doable. So just make sure to get some kind of estimation of traffic of your target websites. And finally, the third thing is geolocation. If you want to visit a web page from a specific country or a specific region, this could be because the website uh, shows you different content based on your location. So for example, uh, this could be, you know, currency. Uh, the website only shows the currency of uh, the specific country and you want to see uh, one specific currency on the website or maybe you are interested in shipping information which is also uh, which also depends on location in most cases but anyway let's say we know the website we know the number of requests and the frequency of those requests uh, they are realistic and we also know if we need geotargeted proxies or not so when you know all this information you can estimate the size of the required proxy pool the reason it's not totally straightforward because there are many ways you can use proxies and it really matters how you actually extract the data and uh, how your scraper behaves. So ultimately it's impossible to give a specific number as an answer without um, knowing the, the project details. So at the end, without knowing the specific details of your project, it's not possible to give a specific number as an answer and uh, how many proxies or what type of proxies you need. So ultimately to answer this question with another question, uh, what I would say is uh, instead of looking at how many proxies you need, I would look at how you use your current proxies and what is the proxy solution uh, uh, you know, that manages these proxies because that's gonna be more important in long term. So I hope this gave you some insights. If you want to learn more about web scraping and proxies, uh, I link a free webinar in the description below uh, where I go deeper into proxies and uh, different proxy solutions. Uh, thank you very much and uh, see you in the next one.